Welcome to the second annual 30 Days of Face Yoga. My name is Elise, your favorite face yoga coach, and I am so excited to present this series starting April 1st. In this video, I will give you an idea of what to expect over the next 30 days starting April 1st, as well as tips to get the most out of this series. So right out of the gate, days one and two are all about improving body posture. This is an absolute crucial step that we often skip when we do our face yoga practice, but we cannot skip this step. It is one of the most important important steps in face yoga. Just like building a house, we need a stable and symmetrical foundation so that we can build our face yoga practice upon. If you have neck tension, shoulder tension, tension in the upper back, or a rounded spine, things like this, all of this is going to pull and block your facial muscles. It's going to be tight. The muscles are connected to each other, so they're going to pull down on our facial muscles. Not only that, our lymphatic system becomes blocked. We can't release toxins from the face. Everything just becomes so much more difficult without good body posture. If I had two weeks to just work with you guys on body posture, I would, but we're going to spend two days. And not only that, after the two days, I would strongly recommend taking exercises from days one and two, and then repeating them daily. So these are exercises that I do daily. 30 seconds, an exercise is completely fine. And you will notice positive changes in your face by doing these non-facial exercises, just stretching and improving the body posture, which is pretty cool. The next four days of the series are going to set you up for success in your face yoga practice. We're going to hone in on setting up the poses correctly and then we're also going to deep dive into the three ways that face yoga produces the aesthetic results. So these would be through massage to release tension. We are going to talk about lifting the face we're in we're going to talk about adding volume to the face so if you think about what a plastic surgeon does a cosmetic surgeon they use botox to relax the muscles where we use massage they use filler to add volume to the area and we're going to use dynamic exercises and then they would maybe do a facelift and we're going to use static exercises so we'll go through each of those components in the first week so every sunday every sunday of the month we're going to do a full face massage and and that'll be the only day that oil is required or I should say highly recommended. You need oil on Sunday. The other days you can totally get away with it unless that you have extremely dry skin, then you might want to add a little moisture. In the second week, we're going to deep dive into the six main areas of the face and neck and then also address the most common issues we have in that area. So for example, we'll work with the forehead one day and we will reverse horizontal forehead lines. In addition, I will also be sharing the probable emotional causes related to each of the issues in the area of the face. So if we're talking about the horizontal forehead lines, I'm going to give you the emotional root cause that could be causing the forehead line. The forehead line is a symptom of the emotional cause in a lot of cases, and we'll talk about that. So we're able to heal on both a physical and emotional level. After the first two weeks of problem solving is when the fun starts. So when we let go of the resistance, you know, the looking in the mirror, criticizing every little thing about ourselves, wishing we looked like somebody else, wishing, oh, if this was different about me, then I would be happy, all of that resistance that can come along with face yoga, when we get that out of the way, now is the time to have some fun and that is when the magic happens. And then we can begin to access the love, the joy, the beauty, the confidence that is already inside of us. And once we start embodying these emotions, we're going to radiate that out into the world and the world is going to radiate that back to us. So then the second two weeks are going to be full face yoga classes where we integrate what we learned in the first two weeks, but we have some fun. I'll introduce different themes and different styles of teaching so you can get a feel for what you like. And I I really encourage you to try to find some enjoyment in this practice. I'm going to do my best as your guide to really help you enjoy this beautiful practice and get the results that you're looking for. Two quick pieces of advice I would give would be number one is to be intuitive with each pose. Just like in regular yoga, not every single exercise will be for you. I am a 500 hour yoga teacher. I've spent two months in India training to be a yoga teacher. I've practiced yoga for 10 years, but I still don't do headstands. I still don't do crow pose. I don't enjoy it and they're not for me, but that's okay. And it's the same thing with face yoga. Not every pose will be for you and that's totally fine. If you feel like you'll be causing more harm than good, then don't do it. 
it works for a lot of us, but it may not work for you. So just be intuitive with each pose. If you feel like something's causing you pain or tension in an unhealthy way, just release and request a modification. And I will be happy to provide you with a modification to that exercise so we can work around some of the uniqueness that we all experience. The second piece of advice I kind of mentioned earlier, but you want to keep an open mind, try to enjoy yourself and do not focus on every little issue that you're trying to fix. Do not look in the mirror and criticize yourself or think negatively about yourself because you're perfect. Face yoga is a tool, like I said, for self-love and self-awareness. Instead, if you want to use your mind in a productive way, you can visualize the results that you are seeking. So hold in your mind's eye a picture of what it would look like or feel like if you had the results that you want. If you are somebody who is here for the joy of face yoga, more power to you. I've noticed with face yoga, we seem to be very results driven, where in regular yoga, we are more than happy of doing an hour yoga class. We don't look different when we leave the yoga room, but we feel amazing. We feel connected. We feel empowered. And that's really what I want to bring through with face yoga is that same feeling we get through yoga. We can get that through face yoga. And it's very powerful once we start accessing those type of energies. So it's really one of those funny things. Yes, we want to feel better about ourselves, of course, but in the feeling better, we're going to start looking better. So number one is to ask for a modification if something feels awkward. And number two would be love yourself, stay open, visualize the results that you do want instead of criticizing yourself. And that's it. So I will leave you with a quote from the artist Lizzo. She says, I'm all about body positivity and self-love because I believe that we can save the world if we first save ourselves. I couldn't agree more. So thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to spend the 30 days in April together, loving ourselves for the perfect, beautiful, worthy, amazing human beings that we are. Namaste, and I will see you on April 1st.